I'm in the hole $18,000 from a graphic design agency. So I run a graphic design agency, thankfully not that one. And I want to go over five things to try to help you avoid that situation, unfortunate situation that she's in. Uh, the first is don't pay everything all at once or at the beginning. In fact, you shouldn't be fully paid until you're happy with the project and they probably send you a 30 day invoice for when it's due. You will probably want to pay for a project 25-50% at the start, and then the remainder or due is at the end, or you could even have certain deliverables like they get paid when they put up a wireframe that gets finalized or things like that. The second thing is to use just Google Fonts. You don't need fancy or expensive fonts. You're not Coca-Cola. Google Fonts are fine. They're free. Just use them. When you have enough money that you want to pay for or build your own custom fonts, your business will be too big and you won't be making font decisions anymore. You'll be making way more important decisions. Third is know the platforms that you're paying for. Um, yes, people say WordPress, MailChimp, all these sites are easy. But they're, they're not. They, they're easy to add new pages or maybe remove products if they're built well. But if you're not familiar with them, at least look into them. Um, if you want really, really simple ones, Substack basically only does email newsletters, so you can use that. And Wix and Weebly and Squarespace are probably the, the best word websites. Fourth, uh, don't bring your, your dad in. Bring a lawyer in. You probably don't have a lawyer, that's totally fine. Google small business lawyer near me or even look on TikTok and just find someone. All lawyers will take your call for free. They'll listen to your case. And if they think you have a good one, like if you have a signed contract in this case, they'll work for you for the payment. That's right. I know they will work for you. You should get a lawyer. <sighs> and then the fifth thing that you want to do is, I forgot while well, the cat distracted me. It was a fifth thing. Beginning, we come back to it. The fifth thing. What was the fifth thing? What was the fifth thing? And the fifth thing is just to accept that you're going to make mistakes. You're running a new business, it's just what happens. I have made many more expensive mistakes than this while running mine. Um, the whole thing is to try to learn a lesson from it and move on and try not to make a mistake next time.